everybody. Well, let's who wastes time. Let's just jump in. Oh my god, if I click the button immediately, I bet we I bet we could have fired. Oh, here's some good news. So tomorrow, uh, tomorrow for me, probably like yesterday for you guys on YouTube, uh, I'm having my internet checked. I called Spectrum about the recent drops. Uh, you know, guys, if you guys watch live, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you guys watch on YouTube, you probably know what I'm talking about too, because I'm always like, well, the internet just died, but it's still recording and I'm still able to play Magic Online. And um, apparently I called them and I was like, hey, so this is what's been happening. I've been having these terrible drops. Uh, I've documented all the times it happened, and it's happened on this day, 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 this day. Happened four times on this day, and it just happened again last night. And they were like, all right, well, let me just check and see what's going on. And almost immediately, he checks, and he's like, oh, yeah. So I just checked, like, the last two weeks of activity, and it's like a roller coaster. There are a lot of spikes and things, so... That is not what we want to be seeing. And I was like, oh my god, that's great news. Because it means I know what the problem was, right? So um, <laughs> so I'd rather have a diagnosis where I know what the problem is than to be like, oh, I don't know, we can't really find anything. Well, it could just be on your end. And uh, so that was great. I was really glad that they saw the exact same things that I was experiencing. And they're going to have someone come out tomorrow at uh, between 12 and 1. So that's pretty sweet. So I was like super relieved because I'm like, oh my god. I was afraid they'd be like, yeah, we see nothing wrong. And then I would just have to keep like troubleshooting and try to figure out what the problem was. And it could be any number of things. Could be a Twitch setting. Could be an OBS setting. Could be my computer setting. Could be a default modem. Could be a, or a, a faulty modem. It could be a faulty router. You know, like it could be anything. But the fact that they actually saw it on their end is super relieving. And so I was really grateful that that was the case. So. And we're going to take... Take it in tomb? Hmm. It could be a mic setting, that's true. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I actually have only one stipulation in the queue, and it is by Dan Brown. Twitch plays magic. I'm not going to do that until he's here, though, because that sounds like it would be something he wants to be here for. But if you guys want to commission any steps before this legacy cube goes away, definitely let me know. You can find information on how to do that in my YouTube profile and in my Twitch profile, so definitely check those out. Um, I do like Dak Faden. Thank you. I like Entomb a lot. Kelsier, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Wish me luck with fun. I'm gonna hold on. Let me make this pick and then I'll read that. Um, is Moat in the Legacy Cube? I don't even know anymore. I feel like it could just be Entomb, right? What's in Tomb? That's strong. Uh, you're a great guy. Wish me luck with finals and with getting a summer engineering internship. Kelsier, I hope you, I really, I seriously hope you get a, an internship this summer and gr best of luck on your finals, dude. I'm sure you'll crush them though. And then nothing for in Tomb. Could just take a blitter right here, be mono black. Hmm. 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 Fascinating. Uh, um, okay, uh, I think it's, ah, God, Obliterator looks really good. I don't know if Search works with Entomb. Search works, uh, similarly to Entomb. Oh, Hypnotic Spectre? That's basically like, that's like a... This is good if we make them discard their fat boys. Yeah, we'll just take this. We'll, we'll stick with the mono black. I don't have a problem with the mono black so far. Uh, was this the best card in that pack? I don't think so. Was it a good pick that goes with our first two picks? Yes. Necromancy. It's almost like that's exactly what we want for this deck. Ideally, one of these two come back, but I don't even care. They're not super exciting. I'll take a Necromancy. Look, now we got the 
Got the old one-two punch here. Duress is actually pretty good because we can uh, make sure they don't have an answer for whatever we're reanimating. So I'm okay with the duress here. Also, every time our opponent has duress against us, we get utterly wrecked. Skeletal Cat, mono black bits, don't fail me, Frank, or do, I don't care. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Kelsier, thank you so much, buddy. I'll see you on the YouTube. Let me know, if you leave a comment, let me know it's you, so I know what your uh, YouTube name is. Unless it's the same, in which case I will notice. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a young Orson Welles. I don't know what to make of that. Slaughter Pact. It's unexciting. How do you feel about Mallow, mallow based? Not not great. It's probably just Slaughter Pact here, right? Could take Anguish to making or Cast Out. I don't see a reason to, to go outside of our, our wheelhouse yet. Every time the pick takes a little longer than I want it to, I'm like, is my internet still good? Oh man, I'm, I'm so looking forward to someone coming out tomorrow and taking a look at everything. Massacre Worm! Oh, buddy boy. Yeah, that's an easy... Buried alive. All right. Well, we're doing the reanimator thing. If we get a living death here, we're probably just playing it. Greyborn Muse. That's playable. That's a great. That's a great one. I'm okay with that. Profane command. I'm just going to take all the black cards. And I'm going to feel okay with it. One of them animate deads would be nice. Y'all got, got any more of them animate deads? Okay. Actually, I like Champion of Wits to discard things here. Mm, Benthid's all. I mean, it's not great, but it's in our colors, so to speak. Also, Fauna Shaman now works with green, so does Undercity Lich. Alright, so now we have blue and green options to go along with. The Fauna Shaman's great discard a fat boy. Can we get some fat boys? That'd be nice. Fat bottom boys who make the rockin' world go round. I do like Liliana. Hmm. Fauna sets up your enemy. Yes, so does Champion of Wits, though.
I'm gonna take the Liliana here. Oh, Crater Hoof, huh? Wretched Confluence, huh? Hmm. Yeah, Tomb is pretty good here. God, I really like Wretched Confluence, though. Tomb is not great with Obliterator. I agree with that. I kind of like just Makeshift Mannequin. We only have one. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Mannequin. It's not one of the best uh, reanimate spells, but it's pretty good. I do like an Aleshnorn. That is a solid creature to reanimate. Recurring Nightmare, huh? Hmm. 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 Let's take the Recurring Nightmare. That seems good. Hmm. Ophium Answer coming back would be amazing. Seraph is fine. Bloodline Keeper is fine. Bloodline Keeper actually makes vampires four. Um, yeah, Seraph does the same thing, but like we can actually cast the Bloodline Keeper where you can play Bloodline Keeper, play Necromancy, sack the vampire, bring it back. I think I'd rather have Bloodline Keeper than Seraph there, just because Seraph is uh, Seraph is white. Like we're not going to be casting uh, Aleshnorn. We're going to be buried alive. -ing. Entombing or fauna shamaning it. Ulamog. Oh, reanimate. Hmm. This is the Ulamog that shuffles too, so unfortunately it's not an option for us really. I think it's just the reanimate here. Although Dragon Lord of Tark is pretty nice. Oh, 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 she's a lady. I mean, we have Recurring Nightmare, we have Necromancy, and we have Makeshift Mannequin. I think I want the Dragon Lord of Tarka. Uh, Overgrown Tomb is good if we're going with the green, which we probably will be. <laughs> and Dread Return. All right, so I think we're doing it. Windswept Heath gets Overgrown Tomb. I'm good with that. And the Ophiomancer came back, just as we hoped. I like Mere Battlesphere, but I'd rather have Ophiomancer when we have uh, Recurring Nightmare. We also have a whole other pack, so I'm not super concerned with that. What up, Bill Brown? Always a pleasure, buddy. We have one two drop right now, so. Uh... Oh, Garrick Apex Predator. That guy's actually playable. I could see playing Rampant Growth here. Ramps us to all these sweetie, sweetie four drops.
<sighs> Take a crucible. I'll be back. May the draft be in your favor. I will see you then. Uh, whatever. Cloud Granger's fine. Emiria is fine. All these things are fine. Liliana, Brain Maggot. Marsh Flats gets Overgrown Tomb. So does Polluted Delta. Scrubland is gone. So Marsh Flats and Windswept Heath. But I guess Marsh Flats would have gotten a swamp anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um. <laughs> Yeah, Brain Maggot's probably definitely going to wheel. I really don't like this Liliana. I'd almost rather have one of the two fetch lands if we're going to be taking... Uh... Okay, if we're going to be playing white, I'd rather just have another another way to fix it. Hmm... Yeah, we'll take Delta here. Oh, uh, Hissing Quagmire seems good. I want to take lands that don't prevent us from playing Phyrexian Obliterator on four. Hornet Queen is pretty sweet. Also, Dark Ritual. I think Dark Ritual will probably come back. It's not very highly uh, sought. Whereas Hornet Queen's pretty sweet. Jacob, what's going on, buddy? Set does look pretty sweet. I agree with you. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the Hornet Queen. Giralf's Messenger. This sets up the Gary, the Gary Gray face pretty easily. We have one, two, we have four, four lands that produce green now, which is nice. Rexage or Messenger? It might just be Rexage. It's just nice to have this effect, and when we're playing black, we don't have it that often. X may just fine. Oh, Woodland Cemetery is the, the the clear pick here. Definitely taking Woodland Cemetery. This is twenty two cards. Like we still have room for one more card. It's, I like that. That's nice. That's comfortable. Plus, we can probably cut something. I guess if we have absolutely absolutely have to. What's up, Minion Odd? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, could be good. I think it's a fine 23rd and an easy cut if we don't play it. Seder Wayfinder, also not terrible. Put some creatures in the graveyard, hit a land. Because I don't think we're going to actually be paying the mana to bring these back that frequently. I'd almost rather have another 2 drop that hits a land for us. I do like a batter skull. We can't get it from the graveyard. Oh man, the waiting for the the new PC part wait is painful. Keep refreshing that that tracking info. Yeah, it's probably just batter skull. Oh, that's that's pretty sick. That's a nice one. Yeah, shouldered's pretty gas. Oh, and both of these came back, which is pretty nice. Probably want Malicious Affliction. Wood Elves. Not terrible. We can get uh, over in tune with it. Alright, so what aren't we playing? We have three cuts to make now. Wow, thing has really got out of our out of hand here. Hmm. Very live. Necro yeah, Messenger came back too. Okay. We can probably cut Garrick. Um, we can't reanimate it, so we're probably just going to be hard casting it, which I don't think is great. I do like all four of these. I like this guy as well. Could probably cut Batter Skull. Hmm. 
One more cut, huh? So I hope I get the Nakamawa scene. Is it gonna be is it gonna be delivered like today? Are you literally waiting today? Yeah, Dark Ritual didn't table. Because that would be sweet. Uh we can probably cut rampant growth. Yeah, this deck seems sweet. I like the way this looks. We have one, two, three, four. I'm probably gonna add one forest and not love it. So this is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And 16 and six, which I think is fine because we're not gonna be casting Hornet Queen. And we only have two green cards. Yeah, this is actually fine. I don't wanna have five green sources when we have two drops. Oh yeah, I definitely know. I definitely know the the list of parts. Uh, yeah, I've I've built every computer I've made since, God, for the past twenty years. I don't think I've ever purchased a PC. I've just you just buy individual components, put it together. But like, no, I mean, like, are they all getting delivered today, or are like? Yeah, Stomping Ground could be fine because it does let us cast Dragon Lord of Tarka instead of a basic forest. Um. I guess we don't have a way to search for Basic Forest, but if they path us... That this week between the hours of 8 and 5. Jeez, that is... That is vague. Wow. Dragon Lord of Tarka and Bloodline Keeper. I want to mulligan this hand. I don't think it's exciting. This hand, however, is... Better... We can Fauna Shaman on two, Recurring Nightmare on three. Let's get rid of Obliterator because we have a forest. Okay. Wall of ice cream. What's going on, buddy? Oh, 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 you lady. That's, that's what we want. All right. I guess we'll have to add a green for that. If we had a black on turn one, we could have entombed something into the graveyard. Turn two this, and then turn three just recurring nightmare, which would have been nice, but. Fascinating. Let's get rid of Alesh Norn. Is there anything we can play? We can play Seder Wayfinder and just hit a land. I kind of like that. Well then.
Wow, they just animated our own Eleshnorn. Well, we did lose our Fauna Shaman, which is sad. And they now have eight cards in hand, which is also sad. Zayichi, yes, way too soon. Yep, you got it. Wait, for you guys to cheer, you only have to type cheer and then the number afterwards? And then it cheers for you? That's pretty crazy. Well, that didn't work. Hmm. I guess we're just going to pass here. Cyclonic Rift, and you're gonna languish the making. Seems good. <sighs> Boy, they just have it all, don't they? Animate dead for uh, Lush Norn. Anguished on making for a recurring nightmare. Another anguished on making for our Graveborn Muse. I'm pretty sure I don't have the minimum cheer set to 100. I'm pretty sure people will be cheering, people will be cheering every day for less than 100. Counter spell my necromancy. I mean, they didn't play anything. We could just assume they have a counter spell, right? They're just considering whether they're going to bounce their snapcast and rage so they get a second cryptic command out of it. I mean, if you have two spells that are going to flip this in response, like, that's the thing, I guess. There we go. Test on phone. That worked. We did it. We got there. Ten minimum value for an example bits. Oh, well, we just... They have... Hmm. Fascinating. I guess they're just going to control magic this, so... 
all treachery. You're just going to bounce the Atarka? Okay. That was a test on Fa E, which is a type of soup, I believe. Yeah, the Fa E. They, do they need a second black or a second white to be doing things? Because I feel like they're not really doing much here. Mass manipulation. Can I get one more land so I can play this shield in here? Thanks. <laughs> massacre wormin. What's up, Monsonster? Long time no see, buddy. Oh, now I have to get my mask worm back. So, thanks for utilizing those mass manips. Sure. Why would you copy one and then just have... Why would you just lose your... What? <laughs> why would you do that? Why not just exile it so then you get to keep it? You're keeping the one I could just easily target? That's weird. Like, they're both tokens, but now you keep the one that dies with any target. So you can just Venser this guy. Or you can get Thing in the Ice. Yeah, I guess we'll just pass here. Take six. Yeah, this forest, if it was a stomping ground... Oh my god. Mistakes were made, dude. Wouldn't you wait to get this so you can get back Fractured Identity at some point? That seems better. I don't know, man. These, these are interesting choices. Can you imagine if this is a stomping round? We just cast this, kill their shielded, and then we just have an 88 again on the board. Wow, mimic that, huh? Well, we're gonna bring in Rex Sage here. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to the next game here. So they had ways to deal with uh, Massacre Worm, Aleshnorn, Fauna Shaman, Shieldred. That's efficient. That's a lot of good answers. So maybe Garrick is good enough here. I don't know. Slaughter Pack seems pretty meh here. <sighs> and I don't mind going to 41.
I will play first. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Go grab an overgrown tomb. Temple Garden? What about Temple Garden? What are you saying right now? Pretty sure we don't have a Temple Garden in our sideboard, right? Nor would it. No, I mean, we don't really have a reason to play it either. Like, one white's not going to cast Leshorn. JTHD? What's going on right now? Oh, Frank holding the Temple. I get, I get it. Okay. I didn't know what that meant. I didn't know what that meant, though. I don't know what's going on in chat right now. I'm just going to stop talking. So the polluted delta means we can cast Phyrexian Obliterator on turn four, which is super nice. Uh, Stomping Ground means we can, in the future, cast Dragonlord Atarka if we ever draw it. I think that's probably better because we have no other way to cast a Dragonlord Atarka. And theoretically, we could just draw two swamps in a row and it'd be fine. Um, I think being able to play this one turn later and being able to cast Dragonlord Atarka is better than being able to cast this on time. And never casting Dragonlord Tarka. I think if you if those are the two options, I'd rather cast the Dragonlord Tarka at some point and cast this later. Especially considering we don't actually have a third land. Or a fourth land, rather. Alright, so now we're still on still on time to play this next turn if we hit a black source. Or Bloodline Keeper. So. That was another reason we did that because we already have a way to cast. Um, a four drop. Uh, Atarka is planeswalker or creature. You cannot deal them five to the face. Where is the other guy with the beard? He is at his house or at his job. I uh, do not keep track of people when they leave my house. Rock and roll. Hold on, so I'm just making some noises out here. No idea. All right, let's see what happens here. Hissing Quagmire, huh? Okay. I don't think we want to attack with Ophiomancer because they could Snapcast or block it. I don't think that's worth two points. Do you know where Hunter's childhood friend who is also moved to California is? What is Billy, what does that even mean? Are they going to counter this? Are they going to anguish on making it? Are they going to phantasmal image it? Nobody knows. Thing in the sh in the schmice. 
<laughs> oh, Zaichi, nice, buddy, Thank nice. You. Um, hmm. Hmm. We could play Obliterator here, or we can play Quagmire with the hope to play Massacre Room next turn. Rockvale, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. You are the the hero we need. I also love Bloodline Keeper, but the problem is Bloodline Keeper dies to Lightning Bolt, unfortunately. I think we're just going to try to Massacre him here. I wish I had a way to target this. Remember that time they uh, Phantasmal imaged our shield and then they fractured identity our, our shield red so that they could have to sacrifice one immediately? That was good times. Oh, what up, big worm? I mean, big perm? Yep. Keep on, uh, keep on keeping on, my dude. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Valtrix, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Now we're just alphaing here because there's a lot of damage in there at 12, so. All right, they're at three. That's pretty good. We have a mask on board. And that'll do. That's the end of the game. Hard casting mask worm is just really, uh, it's just the best you could ever ask for. I almost don't, I don't mind profane command over like malicious affliction because a lot of their creatures are going to be copying our creatures or are our, our, our creatures. Whereas, like, I can profane command on a phantasmal image for zero if I want to, and just kill it. Massacre worm ain't noise pollution. That's true. It's not. It's not noise pollution. Uh, into the trash can, fauna shaman. God, they do have Animate Dead, too. Did we put Rex Sage in? Yes, we did. Okay. <sighs> I don't love this hand, though. I'm going to keep it on the draw. All right. We'll risk it. Hmm. Hmm, that's good. <laughs> Seems good. Again, we wish we had entombed. But, I mean, this is the same same course of events where, like, if we Entomb on turn one, we can Fauna Shaman on two, and then Recurring Nightmare on three. Yeah, I guess I'll sack this. Good call. Come on, Aleho. Uh -huh. 
ideally they play uh, some kind of artifact or enchantment next turn we wreck sage and then we just get our fauna shaman back that'd be gas or we draw a land we wreck sage their thing we entomb something and then we get that thing back that's where we want to be not seeing any white was a big uh uh, it was it was encouraging to play this because they don't, we know they don't have anguished on making access. On the bright side, they did not exile an ancestral vision, so that's pretty cool. Oh, what up, Mike? Ninety. I don't like not having multiples of one hundred bits. Bits. Nice. Nice. We did it. We made it. Hmm. I think we're just going to pass here. We can drop an Entomb at the end of the turn and then Rex Sage for, for nothing. Get like a Shielded. Mm, that seems good. Of course, Stomping Ground once again. Killing our Phyrexian Obliterator dreams. Although, to be fair, they do have uh, Mass Manipulation. They have Phantasmal Image. They have Fractured Identity. And they have Missed Land Drops. Hmm, what did we get here? I like Hornet Queen, actually. Hmm. Uh, I don't like Leshnorn because they've shown us Animate Dead, so I really don't want to put in a Leshnorn in the graveyard and give them the option to a Leshnorn us. If they steal it, no. This is where they go vents or bouncy recurring nightmare. It's going to be rough. They could also Crypto Command this and Bounce Recurring Nightmare. Eh, it's whatever. And then they animate Dead Good Hornet Queen. They're picking their modes on Crypto Command, just to be clear. They're deciding what the best options are. They have decided their cryptic command modes after all this time. Just the Venser. Okay. Are you bouncing the Sage? Huh. I would have probably bounced the, the Recurring Nightmare because this just makes... Like, if this is on board, I just have the value from it. Plus, you could steal it or cop. you could copy it. Uh, I don't know. There's lots of things you could do. Oh, I guess they're going to anguish on making because they drew a land, so I don't actually get the Recurring Nightmare anymore. Yep. So good. I mean, if we hit a land, if we hit two lands, land back-to-back -back would be great because then we can Masquerum into Garrick. We did. I mean, they're just going to either mass manips this, fractured identity of this, or animate dead a horde and queen. So I'm not too excited about that because I know they're going to have an answer for it, but. Yep. <laughs> Fucking Christ. 
Dave. Come on. <laughs> Look, where's the land? Oh, it's right in there. Okay. Not terrible. We could just play Obliterator here and then just. And then, like, waited so the Massacre Room survives, but. I think both of us losing two here. You know what? I don't know, man. Having to having duress at the exact moment to get our the Garrick that we're trying to play is pretty frustrating. Friends. This was the mistake I shouldn't have made. I mean, they have three cards. If any of them answer a Dragon Lord of Tarka, we're dead. If they have Snapcaster to cast Anguish and Making, we're dead. If they have Animate Dead to get our Hornet Queen back, we're dead. We do kill this, Thank I guess. Obi-Wan, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Yep. No options there, Chief. One, two, three, four. Stop the ground. Good deal. So Fractured Identity was a one, two, three, four, five, and then Phantasm, which was six for one. It's pretty good. So we have we're trying to we're trying to fade Snapcaster, Mass Manipulation, Animate Dead. Uh, yeah, I don't care about that. Okay, well. This guy does have the trample. And now they're both lethal. This is this is a heck of a comeback here if this if this works. I mean they have one card in hand. They can't really activate City of Brass. Well they can, but only one more time, I guess. We have two lethal two lethal threats, one of them is eight eight with trample. Uh Hornet Queen puts six power on board, so they could essentially block with everything here and then they still die to this guy so even Hornet Queen doesn't do it here wow <laughs> I did not see that coming dude holy smokes apparently after you Dragon Lord of Tarka the Phyrexian Obliterator that they use Fracture Identity on and you have Sacred Fire of your own lands I, I guess you can still I guess you can still win yeah we're definitely switching this because that actually cost us a game I don't even think I like Slaughter Pack, to be quite honest. I don't think I care about it. I think I'd rather have, like, what's going on here? Okay. Ooh, that was scary. I might just want Wreck in the main, in the main deck. Or Garrick in the main deck. It was very simple. He wasn't Gruel, so your big red idiot clobbered him. Not Gruel, then die.
relax. It's Sammy, what's going on, buddy? Doing all right. Doing all right. I'm going to keep this hand. Any green and we get to play Sitter Wayfinder. Of course, we have literally three of four green cards in our hand. Not including, like, Corner Queen or Dragon Lord Tarka, because those are not meant to be cast. Oh. All right. Well, that's another swamp. Are you still mad at me? Dude, I wasn't, I wasn't mad at you yesterday. I even said that, like, multiple times. I even said, I love you, buddy. I was not mad at you. Oh, see, look, this is what we got that Rex Sage for. Okay, okay. We're going to put three fat boys in the graveyard. I really wish we had uh, Living Death here. Living End? Living Death. Pernicious dude, I'm always mad at you. And uh, I want you to never, never forget that. Kerwin, I've never been more mad at you in my life. Oh, they're going to crack a Tarn in response. And then they're going to crack their clue. Yeah. I'm still mad about that one time you didn't take Spite Mare. Wow. Wow. That was a long time ago. Very Alive is better here because we just want to put creatures in the graveyard that we actually don't want to draw. So, uh, Shieldred, I do want to draw. I don't want to draw Leshnorn. I don't want to draw Hornet Queen. And I don't want to draw Dragonlord of Tarko. Drawing any one of those is pretty sad feels. If we draw a Massacre Worm, if we draw a Hornet or a Shieldred, I think those are fine. We can easily cast them. So. Yep, that's a good card. Necromancy, Dread Return, Makeshift Mannequin. That'll do. We could take a Leshnorn. It would kill this, and then we could actually deal with... I think we're just going to get Dragonlord Tarka so we can just straight up kill the Teferi if we, if we resolve. Also, if we play Seder Wayfinder, we can sack all three of them. Uh, to get like Hornet Queen. Uh -huh. Again, this is just better on the board now. I asked before, but I'm not playing Magic anymore, so I forgot when is Cube. Cube ends next Friday? Next Wednesday? Somewhere around there? Seems good. You're, I was like, you're going to counter this? What are you going to do, buddy? Okay. Resolves. Resolves. Mind Stone. <laughs> I'll 
take a necromancy here. I don't know if I want to use it yet, but. Oh man, we hit Recurring Nightmare, Ophiomancer, and Malicious Affliction. If we hit a Shielder, it'll just easily... Uh... Oh, I like Bees here, actually. Because Bees turns on Dread Return. <laughs> it's legacy but both players start with a blood moon in play dear god dear god you can already tell your plan is fall flawed because you chose to have your money by check no one wants a check I just want you to paypal that to me man no another one the old day of judgment and wrath of god a classic I mean, we got a we got a card off Seder Wayfinder. Uh, Necromancy was basically so they basically traded our Necromancy for a Wrath of God. Okay, I'll take a swamp. Sure, uh, this guy's gonna be out of. I this guy's just gonna mill us. Are we just gonna mill ourselves with this stupid idiot? That's a little scary. Underrealm Lich could suck in 40 card decks. I'm not excited about, like, milling myself in three turns. Okay, well, you're just gonna... You can't mill with him in play? Oh, because you're not drawing the card. That's interesting. Yeah, that's true, I guess. Actually, I think that should have been a get back the bees turn, sack three bees to dread return because they didn't have anything up and I doubt they're going to have a third wrath of God. Yeah, that was supposed to be bees. That could cost us. We have Recurring Nightmare. It is sitting pretty in our graveyard. Yeah, this is... That sucks. Yep. That is unfortunate. I don't think we have any other ways to reanimate now. Aggressive. Hmm.
fascinating. <laughs> they have a counter spell? Sure. No, you're fine? How am I fine? How in any way am I fine? Yep. In tomb. Okay, so. I like Batter Skull here because they have infinite Wrath of Gods and it's just a creature they have to deal with. Well, they had Factory and Needle Spires. Like, they had multiple creature lands on the board. Watching the stream without audio? What in the earth? Why would you do that? <laughs> Unbelievable. I also like Garrick Apex Predator here. Eh, Malicious Affliction, again, does not really uh, seem that great to me. Playing 41 cards, however, that seems all right. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. This seems fine. I'm not going to, however, run out uh, Stomping Ground until I absolutely need to because we have a uh, Phyrexian Obliterator in the deck. So, hmm. That is a creature, all right. Ophiomancer. All right, well, any land we get to play either Batter Skull or Lich next turn, which is nice. I pick up my kitten in a week. Dev, just pick her up today. Come on. Stop wasting time. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Uh, I like a windswept heath. Oh, there's an obliterator and a duress. Wow, that's really sad. I'm having a sad right now. Oh yes, I'm looking forward to all the pictures on, on the Insta and the Facebook. Little man is noise bully. <laughs> Little man is noise pollution. Mow. Thank you. Bye, 31. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. It's been eight months. Jeez. Really appreciate it, buddy. So we, they just plus and we get to deal four damage to Teferi? That seems like a lot. Mow. Pretty good. Big Tefs. I like I like Lich here because if they end up countering it, or end up uh, if they end up wrathing the board, we get to just keep it on here. 
don't have a two mana counter. We didn't see any two mana counter spells in game one. And we did not see any now either, so. That knife command gets a lot of gets a lot of action here. Yep, that's fine. Ain't nobody got time for that. We also have six mana. If we just draw Dragon Lord of Tarka, we can. Or we or like if we draw Garrick, we can just kill. Yeah, Garrick seems insane at this at this juncture. Uh, Mannequin also seems good, but I think we just want the land here so we can actually play Garrick. Turning the beat around. Gonna play this Garrick. Yep. Come on down. Do, 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 do. We could have also attacked their face before and destroyed Teferi. It leaves us with one fewer things on the board now, though. They're at four higher life, but now we have two creatures. So we're kind of asking them to wipe the board, which doesn't really make sense because we have a B. This guy doesn't die. This guy's basically immortal. I mean, they're just probably just going to mass manips and steal Garrick and, and under City Lich because that's really what happens. Okay, they're going to play a mind stone they're gonna duplicate all right well that's not this game's indestructible yeah all right can't really do anything about that that's not really the worst thing i've ever experienced Every day is a chicken Sunday. We're going to attack first because, uh, well, reasons, I guess. If they want to block here, that's fine. We can just play another creature. We can also toss down a batter skull and have enough to bounce it. Seems good. <laughs> we also have 10 power on board so we can go negative 3 Garrick, kill this gain 3 attack for 10 seems decent That's a good one. I have a Dragon Lord of Tarka, though, so we can actually kill three and two of the mirrors, which is decent. Yeah, all right. This is actually looking pretty good. I can actually cast Hornet Queen here? Hilarious!
Let's make sure this resolves first. The problem is if they have like Wrath of God, they can wipe the board and then attack Garrick. I mean, they could do that anyway, I guess. They don't have any red, that's true, but I mean, you can always get red. Okay. Yep, I feel like they're gonna wipe the board here. And if that's the case, we're just gonna keep uh we're just going to keep plussing this. Your cards seem very good. I, I've been pleased with them thus far. They do have to find another... Uh, okay. What? Is Settle the Wreckage in the cube? Can someone let me know if Settle the Wreckage is in the cube? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're just going to give this guy an emblem. This seems stronger than keeping the Garrick on board, especially when we have Batter Skull, Hornet Queen. Hornet Queen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Whenever a creature attacks you, it gets plus five, plus five, and gains trample. It's not in? Okay. Well, some people are then lying. Are they going to Cryptic Command and tap our team? possibly I would have probably done it during upkeeps and bounced the Garrick so that I don't get to uh... okay I don't know what's going on I'm cracking all the things we're definitely going to wreck sage and kill this treasure map though alright we just win the game settle is definitely in settle is not in alright so this is good this is nice beer stop lying buddy I have never seen I haven't seen settle in the cube It's Schroding, Schrodinger's Settle, guys. It's both in the cube and not in the cube at the same time. Everybody knows that. Yeah, Garrick is pretty OP, man. Maybe it's just good in this deck. Okay, so we have Necromancy and Entomb. I'll keep it. I'm game. Bum, 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 bum. Thank you. Beers, thank you so much for the, for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Now, that's to make up for your lies. <laughs> Am I that drunk? <laughs> well, you tell us. You tell us, good sir. Oh, God. A sub for my infidelity. <laughs> I appreciate it. I, it's, it takes it takes a big person to uh, to admit their mistakes. To settle their debts, you may say. I, I feel like I feel like Hornet Queen's probably one of the best things we can just get.
Although they do have a million wrath effects, right? Banana, banana, bum, bum, banana. Hitting these lands is really nice. I will counter spell your necromancy. <laughs> Get out of my life. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that was a solid draw. I will crack my scalding turn in order to search for a cryptic command out of my deck. I will then proceed to choose two individual modes and um, I will counter your spell. What are we doing here? What's the, what's happening? What's the hap What's the happening? Oh, you're just gonna oust it? All right. Oh man, now it goes to the graveyard. Oh god. Second from the top, so we just draw it next turn. Yeah, that's fine. I just rather have the threat here. They're cracking this in response? I'm fascinated by everything that's happening in these matches. Type one if you think Mike is sleeping, two if you think he's at work. <laughs> Mike is actually in bed resting because his back is still terrible. He went to get a, he went to the doctor today, he went to a specialist and they're going to get him a prescription for steroids. Wow, I like Day of Judgment just for a Bloodline Keeper. That's pretty nice. Land. Do you guys know who this is? It's your boy. This guy's fantastic against the Day of Judgment deck. Mike is gonna get jacked. Different, different kind of steroids, guys. Different kind of steroids. Oh, I like a duress here. We can go duress. Wayfinder, Rex Sage. How many cards is this putting in our graveyard, though? Like a million. Like a million bajillion. Fire, Ice, and Bonfire of the Damned. All right. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we're just going to leave this, and we're just going to... One, two, three, four. I don't think this is going to be a problem. I really don't. I think Fire, Ice is more obnoxious because it, it negates our makeshift mannequin, and it also kills like a bunch of our small dudes. Mascara, makeshift mannequin, and recurring nightmare go to the graveyard. That's unfortunate. One, two, one, two, three. And if they hit a land, they can deal four to everything this turn. I don't think that matters. I'll just save you, boy. Okay, so they play the land. 
could also hit a red source and get a dragon lord's arco uh we didn't rex sage this because if they hit a land which they're likely to do when they just crack this uh then we get no value out of it we're just forcing them to crack it early when we see mere battlesphere in the hand i'd rather just kill the mere battlesphere with rex sage that we we know they have so also um Eleshenorn in the graveyard would be great here. Oh, Garrick Apex Predator is a nice hit. You know, in the future. Uh, how about a Dread Return? How about an Aleshnorn and... Do we sack everybody? We sack everybody to get... Oh, we're buried alive. It's, you can't get Dread Return. It's not a, It's not Umbrella Rights. <laughs> what a dummy. That's all I want. On the bright side, putting Dread Return in the graveyard is good. Okay. Sure. They have one card and we know it's Bonfire. Okay. I'm okay with that. I guess they can draw two, so that's rough. Are they going to Bon... Oh, come on. Jesus. Welcome to Top Deck City. I guess we can hit a land and then just Garrick, right? What, what could go wrong? Of course, now we're gonna. It's gonna be like land. It's no land, no land whatsoever. All right, well. Thank you. Okay, man, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Thanks for all the months of content. I've been it's been a rough five months, and you and all the mics have made it much. I really appreciate it. That is so great to hear. I'm glad we could help. Yep, activate your activate your Misha's factory. Like you do. Mm-hmm. You block here. Sure. Oh, man. So we wanted a land. We wanted a dread return. We wanted a shield red. We wanted a lot of things. And I assume now we're going to get some combination of them. We could also Liliana get back something. Okay. You got it. So you have Bonfire and one other card? Sure. Well, I don't know what this is. Mass Manips. Three, four, five, six, seven mana. Oh, are they actually just going to bonfire to kill Liliana? I don't know why they would have done... I don't know why they would have Teferi'd first if they're going to do that. Because then you just make me either pay four life or not. And then it dies. So. So you need nine mana to do this. This is interesting. Okay, brainstorm first. Sure. Let me make sure this is my best option.
Miracling Bonfire next turn is pretty scary because we can just actually, for them, because we can just activate Liliana again. I mean, it does deal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 damage. It's a good amount. But then I just get back, like, I don't know, lots of stuff, I guess. Sure. I don't know what's going on right now. I'm so confused about the things that are happening. Okay, so they did just bonfire. That's that's weird. <laughs> Why not bonfire from I don't know what's going on. Got him! <laughs> it's, seems good. Oh, boy. Thank you! Delrethius, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Oh, yeah. Crack that. Draw them two cards. Buddy, I got a Garrick on the board. Boy, I'll tell you what. This is only game two? This is only round two? Oh my god, I thought we were almost done. This deck has been grindy. Oh, we even just played against two, like, grindy control decks. Yep, you got it. <clears throat> got a lightning bolt? No. Because you suck. That's mean. He doesn't suck. I don't know who they are. Okay. That's not a thing you care about. Oh, that can't get stomping ground. That's so sad. I don't really want to shuffle because I know the next card is Under Realm Lich. And I think that's a good one to have out. Yeah, we're just going to pass. What's the next record? We are currently 0-1, but it looks like we're going to win this game. Maybe. Oh, no, we won the first round. We are currently 1-0. My bad. Yeah, but you don't deck yourself because Lich doesn't draw. He doesn't draw the card. Plus, it's four damage they just have to be able to deal with. Is their Cryptic Command gone? No, unfortunately. Ugh, it's never gone like what about bob gone he's never gone hey it's your boy let's make a beastie boy i want to do that first in case they want to like tap our team bounce garrick if they want to use cryptic command i want to be able to uh make sure i get a use out of this garrick Countering Underrealm Lich and then also bouncing our Garrick would be bad. I would not enjoy that. And that's exactly what they're going to do, of course. Oh, they're just going to remand it. That's better. That's significantly better. They also have five minutes. We have eight minutes. Eight and a half minutes, so... Yeah, it's a replacement effect. So if you would draw a card, uh, you actually just never draw a card with Underrealm Lich in place. So, of course, if they kill it somehow, if they exile it, if they cast out it, you know, you're. Yeah, all right. 
Well, that's the second one. And they played a land. All this is working out well. Garrett going to three is fine. Dude, 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 looking out my back door. Just got home from Illinois. Locked the front door, oh boy. Got to sit down, take a rest on the porch. Oh, that's pretty sad. I did not expect a spell queller. So Garrick goes to two, then he goes to five, then he goes to three. No, he goes to two, then he goes to three, then he goes to one, then he goes to two, then he dies. So we get like two more activations if we don't deal with this spell color. Oh, singing in the band. They only get one draw here, which is nice. We're at 22. They still have to win the game in three minutes. Like, being able to choose from the top three cards when we have nine cards in our deck and we know a lot of them is pretty sweet because Windswept Heath now lets us get Stomping Ground. I'll take a ride on the flying new doo -doo -doo -doo. They have one card in hand. If it's a Cryptic Command, it's really sad. We're just hoping that we're, we're trying to dodge Snapcaster Mage and a third Wrath effect when they have Day of Judgment and Wrath of God in the graveyard. Elk Tears, is that you, buddy? It's been so long. It's been so long. I guess Wrath effect doesn't matter because we just pay for life and then kill them. And then we still have Garrick on board. That seems good. Ned? Ned Briars? I'm not the god, I'm a god. Uh oh, what's happening? Yep, now they're Cryptic Command tapping our team. I mean, theoretically, they could find a way to bounce the Underrealm Lich and kill us when we mill ourselves next turn. What is this? <laughs> Are you just gonna mass manips for like my whole board? Is this Sphinx's Rev or mass manipulation for a million? <laughs> oh, I like it. <laughs> Classy. I wonder if they actually meant to kill themselves or if they just wanted to do it for Max and didn't even think about it. That's pretty gas though. That's pretty gas. <clears throat> I kind of like the Garrick in here. Oh man, that would be amazing. I kind of just want Garrick in the deck. Like we're not gonna cast these, right? They're going to the graveyard. Like we've been able to cast a bunch of stuff.
What do you think about those new magic cards? You know. What are you talking about, man? Oh, the ones with the stuff? Yeah, I actually do know. Yeah, I know what you're referring to. They're all right. I do like their stuff. I get to play first. Um, yeah, I'll keep this hand. We could turn to duress and then make sure like we have Liliana, Liliana happen. Mm -hmm. I was gonna draw that, you know, or you know, search for it, whatever. Oh my god, you have the negate, and I'm going to get to... Oh yeah, that's great. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's a Toyota. Well, this means I can discard Scarab God and then re with you. Red Return, which is frustrating. Also, we have a card called Malicious, Malicious Affliction in our hand that doesn't really do anything. We have a Dragon Lord of Tarka, which doesn't do anything either. We can kill this. And they didn't even discard Scarab God. Hmm. Well, that was an interesting choice. Hmm. Yeah, Necrom Necromancy can hit their yard. So we're going to get rid of their See, careful. They played Island. We know they have these two. And they're going to six. Plans for more keeping tonight? Because I could get some coffee down me if Twitch. Uh, probably not tonight. I do have plans, but tomorrow is good. Can you do. Let me know what day of the week is good for you, other than. I'm doing one more cube after this. Which I guess is tonight, so we could do it next. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do Twitch Plays Magic next. <laughs> That's pretty nice. That gets a stomping ground. So what we can do is we can open up Hissing Quagmire. One, two, three, activate. If they try to kill it, we can necromancy like Unis Prowler and block. And then next turn we can try to ultimate. That seems good. <sighs> All right. One, two, three, four. We're one mana shy of being able to Malicious Affliction this and then Necromancy it. But they are tapped out, which is good. Sure. I 
I'm tempted to discard Dragonlord of Tarka, but we have Windswept Heath on board, so... Oh my god! Ultimate Lily next turn, and they're just like, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> Necromancy says... Okay, I want you to get out of the way. Uh, you may cast Necromancy as though it had flash. If you cast it anytime a sorcery could have been cast, the controller of the permanent, it becomes... Sacrifices it at the end of the next end step. So we can play it as an instant, but we have to sacrifice this at the end of the turn. Right? So you kind of just like get like a one. Uh, she not have cracked fetch and killed both. We can't, it's non black. We can't kill a Scarab God with, with malicious affliction. Otherwise, that would have been uh, immediate. <laughs> yeah, destroy a non black creature. It's a, it's one of the shitty old cards. Oh, God. No, don't don't cancel. It's just going to be inside warning. Come on. We did it. And this is why I don't even like Malicious Affliction. I'm just like, oh, you can't, can't really target your guys, huh? Well, that's pretty good. But it still kills things like Frost Titan, which seems important. So, meh. Oh, yeah. We also didn't have a creature that died that turn. So, that is important as well. This hand is less exciting. I'm going to mulligan this one. I don't like this one at all. So we're going to go to five. I will keep this five. <laughs> Two cards on the bottom, huh? Uh, mannequin and Swamp. All right, that ain't bad. First time seeing an action. That's nuts. What a time to be alive. Okay. Yeah, they were talking about how they were going to test it out in Magic Online, so. Is two mana kill anything too powerful? Yes, probably. I mean, that's why you have cards like, uh, that's why you have cards like Assassin's Trophy, which are not only two colors, but you also give the opponent a land because, hmm, what do, I like Dragonlord of Tarka here a lot. It does kill Liliana. Liliana goes with a five here. But if we hit any creature that we can cast. Alessia Norn seems pretty bad when there's nothing on the board and Dragon Lord and they have an active Liliana. They just make a sacrifice that why like that seems pretty bad. Where's Chocolate Factory guy? I don't even know what that means. This one. All right, just need to draw a creature that costs four or less. And never mind. Actually, that's hilarious. We could have gotten Quagmire, activated the Quagmire, sacked it to get back under Realm Lich. Yep, that actually comically would have worked. Congrats on having reanimate exactly when you needed it, I guess.
like Beast Within over Rex Sage here. Well, they do have... We literally saw them discard Coalition Relic. We're on the play, too. I think that's fine. I don't hate Dross Messenger, actually. It's, it's decent with a lot of things. I don't know if this is actually a Leshnorn deck. Like, they don't really seem like they're going wide at all, so we're just going to take a Leshnorn out. Any green source in this hand is great, because we can just find a third land. Oh, that's a keeper. That is a keeper. I'm not going to risk not having a, a third land here when we have Entomb Necromancy, so... Oh, they're just going to discard a card? Oh my god, did we get just that? Oh, they're going to reanimate it for free, I guess. That's pretty good. I hope it's like Animate Dead and not Necromancy. I hope don't just don't have the reanimate, exactly. Of course you do. Why wouldn't you have that? You guys you want to draft a cool reanimator deck? Your opponent's going to draft a better one and have the exact thing they need a turn earlier than you do. Oh, sounds good. Yep, draw those cards. You got it. Go to five. <laughs> they did it on the end step, so they have to just discard the cards. Oh, that's gas. <laughs> Do we just take their shielded? Because if they exhume, then we can get our own back. I don't want them to have their own shielded. I mean, if they have animate their necromancy, they can get ours, but they've already used reanimate, so we're just going to necromancy their shielded. Do -do -do -do. Alternatively, a bounce this. It's better for them, but it's in their hand when they have one black, so. We can also reanimate our shielder and give theirs back. I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Sick Gristlebrand, bro. Oh, man, another 3-0, another trophy. These these matches were great, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Check out manatraders.com. Uh, you get 15, 20% off the first three months of a subscription with the link and the promo code in the profile. And uh, they're a sweet service for renting or borrowing physical paper cards or digital magic online cards. You can also check out meundies.com slash franklapore. You get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And they're super, super comfortable. So definitely check those out. You can also find me on Cool Stuff Inc. tomorrow with a new article. So uh, be sure to check that out. By the time you're watching this on YouTube, though, It'll be too late and it'll be yesterday. So check that out anyway. And you can use promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off your purchases there. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And if you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. So.